I don't see the point in this board continuing to argue about it. The Wauwatosa School Board votes to go ahead with a controversial sex ed curriculum, but one school board member is saying this isn't over yet. Good evening, that's our big story tonight. Despite some concerns about what will be taught, Tosa schools will start implementing a new health curriculum. There was a special meeting tonight where one board member tried to rescind it altogether. Our Cassidy Williams live in Tosa to why he thinks the board actually violated the law. Now, board member Mike Meyer believes the board violated Wisconsin's open meeting law in the process of passing the new curriculum. He wants parents to have a choice. The seats were once again full for Tuesday's Wauwatosa board meeting. The school district administration. As board member Michael Meyer again brought up the new human growth and development curriculum, looking for it to be taken back. I didn't feel that the, the current proposal and the opt-out was a true choice. On August 22nd, Meyer was the only vote against the curriculum. There was hours of public comment both for and against it. It teaches medically accurate terms in elementary school, as well as teaches lessons on gender identity. The presentation included data from a survey. The data was organized to only include responses from emails that the district could verify belonged to teachers, parents, or students. That's what landed us here. I hereby move to rescind. Meyer claims the board violated Wisconsin's open meeting law when directing the administration to exclude some data. But the motion did not have a second, so there was no discussion and no public comment. The board spoke tonight. Meyer has previously filed two open meeting complaints with the district attorney's office. The school board's lawyer said she could only comment genuinely on his claims, but did say this. You have a fractured board. Um, you are going to have to get past this. Meanwhile, the administration is moving forward with a new curriculum, but the conversation continues. I think it would be premature to say that it's over. Uh, I, I think there has been enough uh, community voice uh, where people have expressed that they have some concerns with the curriculum. And, and I think it's incumbent on us as a school system to continue to be good listeners. Teachers in Wauwatosa have their first training on the new curriculum on November 8th, and parents do still have the option to opt out of it altogether. Live in Wauwatosa, Cassidy Williams, Fox 6 News. All right, Cassidy, thank you.